What is a threat hunter in cybersecurity? In this video, you're going to learn about the threat hunter job role in cybersecurity. And this is one of the ones that we like to call the sexy role in cybersecurity. You get to hunt the bad guys, so to speak. So you're going to learn a general overview of the role, what to expect. You'll learn about different job titles as usual. You're going to learn about some of the job responsibilities you can expect. Uh, the average salary, at least here in the U.S., India, as well as the U.K. Some of the tools you might be using and do you need college degrees, certs, all that good stuff. Before we dive in, I want to ask that you let us know if you like this video or not. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, that just helps us in the algorithm and helps us get this information about these cool careers in cybersecurity out to more people. Let us know in the comments any questions you have about your cybersecurity career. We'll try to get those answered, whether that's around certs, degrees, job interviews, job interview questions, resumes, all that good stuff, networking, personal branding. Um, I've seen it all over the years. I've, I've experienced it all. I've been a hiring manager in a number of cases. I've built up teams from the ground up in a lot of big companies. So I can probably answer any question you possibly have, especially if you're a career changer from something else we can talk about potential transferable skills for you. So be sure to let me know in the comments any questions that you have. We'll get them answered for you and any videos you want to see. Also, I mentioned subscribe to the channel. The other reason for that is we are going to be pushing out, depending on when you're watching this, might already be out, but we are going to be pushing out playlists to help you study for different cybersecurity certifications. So those playlists will be out there for you. So the way you get notified by that is you subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, and then as soon as those publish, you'll be one of the first to know so you can check it out. And guess what? It's free. There's no charge to that stuff. So you can check it out and actually go ahead and study for your certs. The other thing I will mention real quick before we dive right in here is... Right below this video, like usual, there will be a link to the interview course for job interviews that I have over on Udemy. Check that out. If you are getting a lot of job uh, interviews and no offers, then guess what? That's a problem with your interview process, your interview skills. So there's something you need to work on in that course. I break down a lot of different things. The other cool thing about that course is I toss in a free copy of my book that I wrote with Tia Hopkins and Chris Fullen called Hack the Cybersecurity Inter Interview. It's an international best-selling book and it's adopted by a lot of university programs here in the U.S. as well as a couple of programs I know of globally as well. And if you don't want to get the course, then below this video, there's also a link to buy the book separately. You can check that out. Um, there's also an, there's other options to get the book online as well. Uh, Pact, which is the publisher, has an option for like a monthly fee on their website and you get an ebook version uh, there. So there's a lot of options to get it. If you don't have the money or finances for some reason, reach out to me on LinkedIn. Um, I will give you some kind of a, a cyber project to work through just to make sure you're not BSing me. And then we'll we'll, we'll talk about getting you a free copy of the book. Um, it'll be a PDF copy, but uh, if you don't have the money, reach out on LinkedIn. We'll talk about a way to get you a copy of the book so you can get help and get, get going on your job interview. So back to what we're talking about in this video with threat hunting. Let's jump into an overview of what you can expect for a threat hunter. So who, what is a threat hunter? If you've never heard of that term, what do they actually do? Well, just like if we had threats in our neighborhood and we wanted to go find them, right? We wanted to go hunt them. That's all a threat hunter is. So essentially what they do is they try to proactively identify any threats that are, are going to be impactful for the organization. Could also, it could be threats. It could also be vulnerabilities. Um, against the IT infrastructure, so networking or the systems. It could also be against the physical infrastructure of the organization. Let's say you got a nuclear power plant that you're working at. You also need to take into account as a threat hunter, like are these adversaries going to be able to physically come to the, the, the uh, building and do damage there as well? So essentially, your goal here is to try to detect and respond to uh, these different cyber threats that are out there. You know, and, and oftentimes these are going to be ones that will not be identified by traditional security tools, right? Because security tools, we identify things that we, we know of or we can, uh, we can see anomalies, things like that. You're more proactive in this role as a threat hunter. You're kind of digging in the weeds here, trying to see what are the bad guys doing right now? What are their TTPs or tactics, techniques, and procedures? And identifying what's the real threat to the organization? Because a lot of stuff gets out in the media like, oh my gosh, look at this vulnerability, but is it really impactful for our organization? Or hey, look at this hacking group, but are they actually targeting our our uh, industry that we're in, right? Um, for example, if they target financial services and we work in healthcare, probably a low risk that they're going to go after us, but there are groups that go right after healthcare. So those are groups that as a threat hunter, we, we would want to be more proactive and actually monitoring those groups and seeing what they're actually doing. 
So what about some of the different job titles? Well, typically it's going to be a called a threat hunter in the vast majority of cases out there. You might see it also listed as like a cybersecurity analyst, like level two or SOC analyst, level two or three or something like that. Um, might see it listed as IR analyst or incident response analyst or even cybersecurity investigator, depending on where you work at. It could also be like network security analyst. I've seen forensic analyst with it actually the job description being a threat hunter role. So a lot of different job titles it could be, but in 99.9% in .9 of cases, if you look for threat hunter, it's either going to be in the job title or it's going to be several keywords listed in the description. So threat hunter should pull up the vast majority of jobs that are open. This is not an entry level job, by the way. This is one that you want to have some experience, uh, potentially in a SOC or as a cybersecurity analyst or even as a cybersecurity engineer, maybe even as a junior pen tester. But you, you just want to understand security at an organization at the end of enterprise level and then understand some attacks like experience some attacks and responding to them that'll get you in a really good place to be a really good threat hunter again not an entry-level role but something that you can work towards maybe in your second or third role with once you've got a few years experience in the industry so what about specific job responsibilities well obviously searching for those threats right proactively searching for the potential threats um, building threat hunting methodologies. So how are we actually, you know, how is our threat hunting team going to actually function and how, you know, where are we looking at? What are we going after? What sources of information are we using? And then taking all of that data, whether that's from our security tools, whether that's from our actual hunting on um, places like the dark web or other platforms, social media, you know, using our OSINT, we're taking all that data, we're analyzing it and we're making sense of it, right? And we're identifying, okay, are there, are there threats that are imminent? Are there threats that are emerging threats? Um, you know, what are the what are kind of those latest trends that are going on right now with these threat actors? You know, as we see right now in the time I'm filming this, we've seen over the past five years, we've gone from, you know, ransomware attacks being a little more isolated to now you've got ransomware as a service where people's grandmothers are, are signing up just to earn extra cash because of the pandemic. And so now they're, they're getting involved in organized crime where they traditionally wouldn't, right? So now you don't just have certain groups or, you know, the, teenager down the street. Now you have regular people committing criminal acts, using ransomware service and targeting organizations. So the threat landscape has changed significantly over the past several years. That's something you need to be mindful of as a threat hunter. And then you'll be involved in investigations, uh, usually with the incident response team. So trying to identify, was there actually an attack? What was the security threat here? Collecting and analyzing any evidence, documenting findings, reporting on any of the findings that you have. And then again, the cycle repeats itself of, okay, now you have this information, let's analyze it, let's identify how we can be more proactive in the future. So all this sounds like a lot of work. What are you gonna get paid? Well, the base salary in the US, low number is around 70,000. Honestly, if you're a threat hunter, you're probably gonna be around 80 to 85,000. But when you look at salary, averages in these different uh, places for data it's about seventy thousand to one fifty you uh, thousand us again starting out you're probably more likely going to be around 85 to 90 because you already are going to have a couple years experience and then 150 i've seen up to two hundred twenty thousand base uh, and then that person also got equity I, I know the person so i won't give insight into what company or anything like that but you can get it can be a very lucrative career depending on if you want to stick with it or not. In the UK, 30 to 80,000 pounds. And then India, you might get around a half million to 1.5 million or more Indian rupees. So again, very lucrative depending on where you live in the world. And if you're outside of the US or these other countries I mentioned, then understand that a lot of companies are bigger and they're international. So they may have jobs in your country. You may not make as much, but you can still make a good wage depending on where you live. What about some tools that you might be using for threat hunting? Well, you'll be using different security tools like SIM tools, for, for example, like your Q Radar or your Splunks of the world, uh, EDR, XDR solutions, so basically your host solutions there. Uh, network traffic analysis tools, different threat intel platforms, so you'll be pulling in that data to identify, you know, what are some, uh, and, and from information sharing as well, platforms to identify things like indicators of compromise, TTPs that are being used, uh, vulnerabilities, like what are the latest vulnerabilities, what are the latest security threats, and a lot of that data is ingested into your security tools, so it's automated a lot of this process, so you don't have to sit there and try to sift through all this information. So you can just take the data, see what's meaningful to you, and then go out and, and really hope to 
hopefully hunt, hunt these threats efficiently. And then vulnerability, uh, vulnerability scanners as well, like your Nessus, your Qualys is a very popular one. Um, by the way, Qualys has free training. So if you're trying to get into like vulnerability management, you can check out their website. They got some free training courses around that that I think are beneficial for anyone, especially if you eventually want to get into threat hunting later on. And then in some cases, you may also be using like forensic analysis tools as well. So, all right, you do a lot of work. You can make good money. There's a variety of tools you're going to have to know how to use which is why this is not an entry-level role. All right, do I need college degrees? Do you need certifications? Do you need all that good stuff? No, not at all. You don't need a degree. You don't need certs. You just need to have, honestly, hard technical skills and ability to communicate effectively because your results, you're going to have to communicate it to different stakeholders across the organization. If you insist on collecting certifications, then there are some out there that are slightly applicable and and then, you know, one that is a little more applicable. So some of the ones that some people get are going to be that Certified Threat Intel Analyst from EC Console. So that's that first one there. The Certified Threat Intel Analyst from GAIAC, so from SANS, that's that second one there. The one that's more relevant to this particular role is a CCTHP. That stands for the Certified Cyber Threat Hunting Professional. Um, that's from MILE2, so they're the ones that do the PRINCE uh, framework as well. Uh, certified Network Defender, you sometimes see that here in the U.S. in the government space. Uh, that's another one from EC Council. And then the CISSP, again, you see me list that in a lot of these videos, but as you get more experience, as you get at least five years experience, that's a good one just for your career because a lot of companies expect you to have that once you get five years experience in the industry. So it's a good one to help you grow your career long term. So again, if you like this video, if you have questions at all, let me know in the comments. Let us know whatever questions you have. We're happy to answer those and, and try to help you with your career. Be sure to subscribe. And again, those links are below for the book as well as the course. Check those out. We really want to help you get your next cybersecurity role.